tell me when. Ready? Hello everyone. Welcome to Sentimental Sunday. So move my microphone closer. So here's Hugh's best present <laughs> besides the shirt he's wearing. We play Scrabble a lot. So he got the Scrabble Players Dictionary. <laughs> so that'll be useful. But from Gwen and Brandon, we got our very own wedding picture book. And she got these for all the family members. And everyone has their own individualized book with their own pictures. So ours has photos of Hugh and I with them. My mom got one with all the pictures of her in it. My sister got one with pictures of her. And then my son gave me a picture from the wedding of uh, Hugh and I with my son and daughter. This is us having a little bit of fun. Dancing the night away. So it's a great book. Very happy with that. Um, but I don't know if he is on because I don't have my phone on. How cute is that? It's a dog coffee mug cozy <laughs> made handmade I can't remember where um of a spaniel and Pookie's wearing a hat that says naughty on the front and or on the back and nice on the front I think it's made for cats but she she fits so I thought I would my sister gave us this book um that is New York best New York Times bestseller dog songs it's a poetry book so since it's Sentimental Sunday, I thought I'd read a few Sentimental Sunday poems from this. So. And this one's called Every Dog's Story. So it looks like she has a German Shepherd and like a little Maltese or a Bichon. I'm not sure what the white dog is. All right, Every Dog's Story. I have a bed my very own. It's just my size. And sometimes I like to sleep alone with dreams inside my eyes. But sometimes dreams are dark and wild and creepy. And I wake and I'm afraid, though I don't know why. But I'm no longer sleepy and too slowly the hours go by. So I climb on the bed where the light of the moon is shining on your face. And I know it will be morning soon. Everybody needs a safe place. This one's called The Storm, and this is about Bear. That's the little white dog, and uh, Luke is the shepherd. So, now through the white orchard, my little dog romps, breaking the new snow with wild feet. Running here, running there, excited, hardly able to stop. He leaps, he spins, 
until the white snow is written upon in large exuberant letters a long sentence expressing the pleasures of the body in this world oh i could not have said it better myself this one is conversations with bear the little white floofy dog reminds me of myra said bear i know i'm supposed to keep my eye on you but it's difficult the way you lag behind and keep talking to people well how can you be keeping your eye on me when you're a half mile ahead true said bear but i'm thinking of you all the time i had to go away for a few days so i called the kennel and made an appointment i guess bear overheard the conversation love and company said bear are the adornments that change everything I know they'll be nice to me, but I'll be sad, sad, sad. And pitifully, he wrung his paws. I canceled the trip. <laughs> this one is Luke's Junkyard Song. Luke is the big shepherd. I was born in a junkyard, not even on a bundle of rags or the seat of an old wrecked car, but the dust below. But when my eyes opened, I could crawl to the edge and see the moving grass and the trees, and this I began to dream on, though the worms were eating me. And at night, through the twists of metal, I could see a single star, one, not even two. Its light was a thing of wonder, and I learned something precious that would also be good for you. Though the worms kept biting and pinching, I fell in love with this star. I stared at it every night, that light so clear and far. Listen, a junkyard puppy learns quickly how to dream. Listen, whatever you see in love, that's where you are. That's Luke. Junkyard dog. Luke, I had a dog who loved flowers. Briskly she went through the fields, yet paused for the honeysuckle or the rose her dark head and her wet nose touching the face of everyone, with its petals of silk, with its fragrance rising, into the air where the bees, their bodies heavy with pollen, hovered, and easily she adored every blossom, not in the serious, careful way that we choose this blossom or that blossom, the way we praise or don't praise, the way we love or don't love, but the way we long to be, that happy in the heaven of earth, that wild, that loving. All right, so that's Sentimental Sunday. Those are Dog Songs by Mary Oliver. So some good stuff in there. Uh, I got some other cool stuff too, but we'll save that for another day. All right, so today's probably the last like crazy shopping day for a lot of people, although some people can shop tomorrow. It'll still be crazy tomorrow. The stores will still be open because, God forbid, they would miss a day of selling. <laughs> so everybody have a wonderful Sunday. Uh, oh, shoot, I'm supposed to play the music. Yeah, I'm supposed to play the music. Hugh's computer is taking a day off or something. <laughs>
forgot to talk about the Testicle Festival. 